Welcome to a 2016 review, and this is a WWE highly detailed action figure review of John Cena Series 34. Elite collection includes head. Yeah, this just says includes shirt, tags, and cap. Yeah, what you see right there, just a hat and a tag. And no t-shirt and a call in a camouflage pants and a knee pads and a neon pair of shoes we're gonna go with the figure then we're going with the box because we're, we're not good at doing the boxes we're, we're nearly going good at throwing the boxes over the side which might not want yeah people want to know why I do that because I like doing it and plus they have plus John Cena covered in L and removable wristband you didn't know that was there. It didn't even say it on the side. It just said includes shirt. Just said, look at this. It just says right there, tags and cap. And shirt dog. It should have said shit dog and tags and cap. And could say wristband as well. Dumbass box. Let's just go to figure. New logo, man. New freaking logo for age third for eight and plus, but higher and up than that. Look at that. Higher and up. Look at it. Read the building of that. Breathe it in. Yeah. Warring part. Not for children. Because you got these and that. And the t-shirt is on my basic Brock Lesnar figure. That means my elite Brock Lesnar is going to be on my shelf and not be played with. Because I'd be buying basic Brock Lesnar's because I don't want my base, my elite Brock Lesnar broken. So here's the John Cena figure. Before we go over the uh, box. Camouflage pants. John Cena has camouflage pants and a black belt. Black knee pads and neon boots. Neon black boots. Yeah, black boots with neon on the bottom of the boots and a neon wristband with you can't see me on both wrists and his one of his hands are balled up. The left hand is balled up, the other one is open. And here's his wristband that says never give up, which he is not giving up, but Brock Lesnar gave him F five, which he already gave up to Brock Lesnar in a Kamorla. Which John Cena claims that he's the incredible hawk, which no one can say it is true. Which Brock Lesnar is the incredible Hulk. Well, that's true. But John Cena is. I don't know if he's King Kong. I don't know if which one he's. Um, um, John Cena is more of an Iron Man. He's undefeatable. He cannot be touched. Nobody can say he cannot be stopped. They have put that on that sign that says he cannot be stopped. And on the back, same thing. Camouflage. All black knee pads. Black boots with neon on the bottom of the boot of the shoes. And a bootsy haircut for John Cena. Top haircut and a bootsy hair, little bootsy haircut for a man that is from St. Louis, Missouri. But not St. Not St. Louis. Darn it! Not from St. Louis. Dang it! The box says it all from where he's from. Now we're going to go over the box and see where he's from and where he comes from. And here's John Cena on the back, Elite Collection Series Heritage. And this is Extreme Rules 2014 and the ring attire. And you can see the AKA The Champ. The World Heavyweight Championship, career highlight, WWE high. And you got to see the career of the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, United States Championship, World Tag Team Champion, and from West Newberry, Massachusetts. That's where this man is from. John Cena, but people keep on claim, claiming he's Cena. And including the signature move, the attitude adjustment, and then 251 LBS pounds, including the 202. And including, that's the debut we first reviewed against Kurt Angle. And we all saw that. Me and my cousin watched that. When he first debuted and faced against Kurt Angle, and he beat out. Well, 
embarrassed Kurt Angle in the ring in the first ever SmackDown where the big SmackDown fist was uh, born. And we all saw where Kurt Angle and John Cena was about to have a fight in the ring. Where John Cena was wearing red tights before these were born or out and before they happened. And this is six foot one. And I think, I don't know, I think John Cena weighs more than that. Six foot one? Really? That's a lie or a typo? I don't know. Let's see. And recreate the action of WWE with Rusev, which we already got. Paige, which we got a basic figure of her in the line. But she looks like an elite in her legs, but she's not a little bit. She's just a, a basic elite, but we'll skip ahead. Hulk Hogan, boo you. you you still screwing up around with your ex-wife, including not to mention. You're still throwing racist comments about black people, which we still hate you. Wade Barrett, Fast News Barrett, the League of Nations, Wade Barrett, he is still in which people claim that he's going to form the Nexus again, which we don't know when he's going to do that, which we're going to have to find out in the near future of 2019, eight, well, 19 and 18 or 17, which we don't know. Okay, Doink the Clown, first time in the line, we saw him in FYE, which we're going to get him soon enough, but we don't know when, but we're going to recreate the Legends figures and the Legends of the um, WWF, the World Wrestling Federation, on the 2K16, 17, 18, 19 video games, but we don't know when we're going to um, get all the other wrestling games, but we're keeping around and looking around for Pokemon X. No, not not Pokemon X. We already got X and Y. But we're looking around and hoping to get one game, two games, and that's Pokemon Sun and Moon. And we're just going to keep and look around for that. So that's the only thing we're going to look for right now. Because right now, we're right now at Pokemon Sun and Moon, and we're on the verge of getting that now. So keep on the lookout for that. And if you like this video, leave a comment, subscribe. If anyone in this video and then on YouTube like this video, please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe Insta in the comment selection and write, subscribe, comment, and hit the button. Dude. Because we have nothing to say about this. Because we want nothing to do with any bad comments. Anybody have bad comment? We write something back. But then again, leave a comment, subscribe for more if you like this video.